Oh my goodness gracious. It feels good to be out here working again. It's a great day and uh, what I'm doing right now is I am um, I'm cutting a hole for my air conditioner. I have a mini split. So here on the wall, my copper pipe will go up behind my backing all the way up to where my mini split will set, which will be up here at the top, uh, the inside portion of my mini split. But at the bottom, I have to come through this metal. I've drilled a hole here to get started, but I've got to come through there, down and through there, over and down through this hole. Now, uh, this floor is awesome. You can see the layers when you look here. The bottom layer is almost one inches. I think it must be about seven eighths plywood. And below that is, uh, uh, looks like maybe almost three sixteenths steel on the very bottom. Then I have my foam in there. And uh, that's my insulation. And of course all my radiant heat all my radiant heat runs through the top of this foam and it has aluminum reflectors that reflect the heat up. And then of course I have a subfloor right here and it's a three-quarter uh, standard three-quarter subfloor tongue and groove. So that's the hole that I have to cut through to my area where my outside unit for the mini split will be. Uh, pretty cool actually. Uh, I didn't have any kind of a hole saw that would go through there so I just had to drill lots of little holes attach them together finish it up with my sawzall but that's where the copper will go through to the outside portion of the mini split now this is where my mini split the bottom portion will sit right in front of the battery for the generator I'm gonna leave plenty of copper pipe so I can turn this when I need to work on it or service anything. There's the hole that comes through. I will have uh, extra pipe, so what I'll do is I'll just bend it. I'll leave it bent in a circle. It'll be in a circle here right behind, and then I'll go into the back of my mini split right there. That way it gives me room to move my mini split out, in and out, if I ever need to work on it. Okay, these are the copper pipes. I uh, run down through the floor. This will be under the couch that I'm installing. I will foam. You can see that there's some space in there. Uh, these copper pipes have nice foam insulation around them, but I will foam all inside these holes to stabilize it, keep it from moving. I will also foam around the pipe itself, around the foam itself, to stabilize it so that there's no movement when we're going down the road. The hole where it goes through, again, I'll foam all of that. And then you can see that I actually did a serpentine here so that I have room to manipulate it at the top. So I can manipulate this. It's a slow process to bend copper. But you have to be very, very careful that it's not crimped. I think I got it in there with no, no situations, no problems. I'll show you on the outside and you can see exactly how it turned out. Here's where I came through the floor and uh, I'll back up here so you can see exactly what I have. I have a lot of extra pipe there. So what we'll do is I will curl that very carefully, make a circle back behind my unit. This is my unit right here. Whoops. And actually where they attach you can see where the pipes come in. I'll be attaching there and then there will be a couple of circles and then it will go up through the floor or at least one circle. So this is backwards to how it'll sit but that gives you an idea. Uh, just a quick little illustration to show you how much uh, this insulation helps. Let's take a look right here at temperature. Oh, it's not focusing on this. Okay, let me see if I can, there we go. Maybe we can get it to focus. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyway, this is a, 
This is 99 to 100, depending on which time I click it on that. Right here, it's about a half inch thick up here. And that is 89. Again, it's not focusing on this very well. Let me hold it out here a little further. Okay, that's 89. And then right here, where it's about two and a half inches thick, it's 83. Now you can see it doesn't it does make a lot of difference to have the insulation on there. It doesn't make that much difference between a half inch or one inch and two and a half inches. So I guess actually as long as they get the insulation in there everywhere, I shouldn't worry too much about the thickness. We're at the Texas Roadhouse. And we're watching, they started the game early tonight, San Antonio Houston in the playoffs. My wife loves basketball, I do like it. We're going to have a big old steak, and, well a uh, little steak. Yeah, I'm San Antonio. She's for San Antonio? I am too, baby. Hey, thanks everybody for watching the channel. I just thought this little ringneck pheasant might be a point of interest to someone. <laughs>